Hey guys, in today's video, we're gonna level up your strategy and your Squarespace site just a little bit more. I'm Elizabeth Muller, founder of Bloom Creative Company, a Squarespace design agency. And today I wanna to talk to you about first impressions. So think about when you're selling your company, selling your business idea, your company to someone that hasn't met you before. Are you polished? Are you speaking clearly? Are you articulate? Well, when we think about that first impression in person, we also have to think about what our website does too digitally. So when we talk about the strategy behind that first impression on our website, we have to consider something called above the fold. And I'm sure you've heard about that before, but you don't know how that applies into your Squarespace site. On today's video, I'm gonna walk you through what above the fold is, what some good strategy is to incorporate into that into your site and how to do that. And we're just gonna talk about the strategy behind what makes a really good impression and how to get your audience's attention because you really only have a couple seconds when they land on your site. So we need to maximize that space above the fold and we need to maximize that strategy too. So let's hop on a screen share. So it is so important to understand what above the fold means. And I'm sure you've heard it many times and I'm sure you know you need it or it's something that you've maybe researched, but I wanna break it down and really relate it to Squarespace specifically and how you can do this in five minutes on your site. So above the fold is anything that someone sees initially within their frame of their viewer of, of viewing of the website. So if I'm in my Squarespace site right now and I wanna take a look at what the live view is of my site, I hit this arrow and this is what my site looks like when someone would land on it. So simply what above the fold means is what you see when you land on it. So you could think of this line down here of where it cuts off the rest of your site on your homepage, that is above the fold. So anything here up. So strategically, when we look at our website, we want to make sure that everything that is important that we need someone to see right away is what they first land on in the full view of their screen. Now, you want to look at it two ways. Now, you are using Squarespace, so you should be pretty optimized for what I will show you, but it is your mobile view. So most of your traffic, or a lot of it rather, is going to be on mobile. So you wanna just double check that your mobile view works too. So here's your mobile preview here. And it pulls up generally the same amount, but icons and images look different. Now, if I wanted to resize this one, I would go back to the Bloom Creative Company YouTube video on resizing icons and images because I'll, I walk you through how to make sure that an icon or an image isn't blown up on mobile. But we're gonna walk through building a new web page that could essentially be a home page or a landing page that we make sh that we will make sure is super strategic and built for conversion and built to generate interest in your site because your site is no good if no one is going to scroll down or scroll past that initial point so we're going to create a killer home page that is above the fold again that is here and above that kind of checks all the strategic boxes so let's make a new page Let's start out with a blank page. We'll call this above the fold to go along with all of our other <laughs> how-to videos here. Okay, so here's our new page. It is empty. So the first thing that we wanna look at here is, well, first we wanna edit, right? Is, is our logo, logo, oh my gosh, logo. So, strategically, we want to make sure we have a logo that is not too busy, it's easy to read, it captures what our business does in essence, and we want to make sure it doesn't take up too much of the room up here, because if you have a logo, and I think this is as big as it's going to, I think it's as big as it can be right now, but <clears throat> if we have a logo and we just, we make it huge, that is giving us not much space here to work with to bring in content that we need people to see in order to get them moving through the rest of our site. So we wanna make sure our logo is big enough to read, but not too big that it's taking up almost half the page here. So I'm gonna decrease the size here, and make it big enough that I know someone can read. Definitely Boom Creative Company and a Squarespace Design Agency. So. That looks pretty good. And then I wanna look at my navigation. So 
all the pages in my site, we, I want to make sure that they reflect what I do. So maybe it's, maybe it's home about our mission, services, or solutions, blog, you know, anything that reflects what your business is doing. Uh, make sure that your navigation reflects that. You don't want to call it something that someone would have to work hard to understand, whether it's um, something, I'm trying to think of some of the things that I've seen. Sometimes I see things that just have no, that don't make sense with what the business is. So just keep it simple, keep it short, keep it easily understandable because when people land on your site, Typically, people read in a Z. So they start here, they're going to start with the logo, go across, and then they're going to come down like this. So that's where this next step is really important. So when we add a new page content, I'm going to use one of these templates because I will explain as I build it out. But I want to use an image that is not going to take up too, too much space because I'm going to leverage this space above the fold too for something else. So when I initially change this background. I'm going to change it to something that reflects my business. Oops. Here it is. We'll use this one here. And then we're going to use this objective statement here to make something that is all encompassing or to add something that is all encompassing to what we do. So this is your first impression, right? Someone first lands on your site. I have a visual that shows what I do. Website design. Here's a bunch of websites that I've built in the past. And I'm going to use this sentence spot here to make something that is so clear and succinct that when someone reads it quickly, they're going to know what I'm all about and how I solve their problem instantly. I'm going to go over here. Sorry about that. Okay. So I will probably use my mission or my vision in this, in this situation. So um, my mission is to inspire small businesses to grow past their potential by leveraging systems and tools to change the lives of every one of their customers. My vision is, or I'm sorry, that was my vision. And my mission is to create a platform any business can passionately use to serve their world. I'm going to go with this one just in this instance. We're going to put it here. It's big, it's bold, it's in your face. We're going to do something about the color of this here in a second. And then I'm going to utilize this button for a call to action. So your call to action is something that the action you want someone to take when they land on your site. So whether it's booking a free discovery call and making sure that it's known that it's free and there's value just to get them on the phone so you could further close and sell them, or maybe it's a free download to get them to opt into your email list. And again, we have another video of that on the Bloom Creative Company YouTube channel about creating a, a lead magnet through Canva and how to attach it in here. So go check that out. But let's say in my web design business, I just want someone to call me for the free discovery call. I'm going to edit this button. Now you can name it whatever you want it to be. I'm going to do free discovery call so I know that instantly someone can call me and not have to pay. And that is going to be the call to action on this. So again, it could be it could be anything. It could be a discount code. It could be just something that keeps them in your, your ecosystem longer, whether it's, you know, the, the, the newsletter opt-in, getting their email list, or booking a call. That way you have access to them. That's the whole goal here. So I'm going to hit apply. Now, if you'll notice, I still have a little bit of space right here to work with. And I can even shorten this a little bit too, because again, the graphic is there, the text is there. And I want to utilize the space down here to the best of my ability. So a couple ideas that you can do in this space is we could do, so in the, whoops, here, I'm asking for a free discovery call, getting them to call me. And then maybe if I, I lose them on that opportunity, maybe the next one down is actually a newsletter. Maybe this is where I get them to opt in and subscribe. So in order to give up an email address, we need something of value, something enticing. So maybe that's where I'm going to put a free, a free download. Here we go, free download. And then blah, whatever that download is. And then I can take the subscribe. I'm sorry, the form name is what is, you're titling it, the title here, we'll put here, that's what's going to show here. And then a supporting sentence if you need to. 
I'm going to remove that. I'm going to remove, or I guess sign up works. We'll leave that there. We have our the layout and float fields. Um, let's roll with that. Um, you're going to have to do your storage, connect it to Squarespace campaigns. I believe we have one in here. Yep. Opt-in lead magnet. That's what we did on our last training. You could do a verification with the reCAPTCHA. reCAPTCHA. And then if you go into post submit, again, in that last YouTube tutorial that we did, we show you how to set up that lead magnet. So you have to go back and check that out. So if I want to do this here, all you see is the free download. This is a lot of wasted space. So I'm going to remove some of that section height, make sure that people are really seeing that. I'm going to remove it almost completely. And then that way, someone sees my site, they land on above the fold, they see they see objective statement right there, and then they see newsletter value in their face, screaming at them. Maybe I want to add an image that supports that free download. I'm going to put it to the side here, and I'll show you why in just a second. So maybe it goes along with this training video or, or something, something that, again, someone will find a ton of value in. And it's thinking, okay. So I'm going to go here and make it a little larger or wider. I'm sorry. Oops. Now there's things that I would go back and do. So I'd probably go back and darken up this image to make my text stand out a lot more. We could even do that in here under background, the overlay, paste it here. Because it almost doesn't even matter how pretty your website is, as long as it has all the right strategic elements, you're still going to get conversion because what I always tell clients is it's not enough to have a pretty site. It has to be, it has to be strategic too. So when you look at, you know, the different components that are above the fold, we need to think about what are we doing that follow along the lines of being super strategic. So other things that you can do with this, if, you're, if your business is a little more complex, I would recommend adding a supporting headline underneath it. So something like this that is still seen above the fold that creates that stimulation to continue to scroll. So you could always have something here so they can see a little bit more. But I want to show you on mobile how this looks too, because we've set this up really nicely, kind of checks a lot of those boxes, but you just always have to double check. So in this case, I would make that logo bigger. I might make this text a little bit smaller because it's a longer sentence. So maybe we'll go back here, edit site header, max mobile height, move that over, go in here, maybe we'll do heading three. And then we have our newsletter. So if we go back and double check, okay, that's a little bigger. You can see a little bit more. So if I had more of a supporting sentence below this free download that intent that hits a pain point or an emotional appeal to it, how I'm solving a certain problem, that would that would really help with the value and getting and leveraging, you know, that strategic information to get someone to give up their email address. So again, this is above the fold from here above. So right now it's quick. They know what value they get. They see that free discovery call. It's yelling at them in their face. And those are really just key steps. And then as you scroll down, there's more strategy to add into your website. Of course, we have another video on that. Um, just talking about a dynamic homepage and core elements that you need in your homepage to encourage someone to click to your other pages and learn more and keep earning their trust and, and the knowledge in your company. So that's pretty much it as far as above the fold and different ways to leverage growing that interest and that trust in you to get past those first few seconds because statistics show you only have a couple seconds at when someone lands on your site to capture their attention. So we really have to use this space and it's not much space, but we have to really use that space to our advantage in order to get them to keep scrolling down more. I hope you got a ton of value out of that walkthrough. Do me a favor and hit the thumbs up button so more people like you can see this video and learn from it too. 
And do me a favor, smash that subscribe button so you don't miss another training video. We are dropping these every Monday for you guys and super happy to help you with managing your Squarespace site. Again, I'm Elizabeth Muller with Bloom Creative Company and we'll see you on the next video.